Yo, what's going on guys? It is JT Judgment here and welcome back to the channel today for another FIFA 17 Ultimate Team Legend review and today guys in this video we're going to be taking a look at the 88 rated midfielder. Is it Yari or Jari guys? I apologize if I have butchered the pronunciation of that guys but today we are going to be looking at Lipmanan. That's right guys, the 88 rated centre attacking midfielder. When it comes to stats guys, with this card you are getting 82 pace, 81 dribbling, 83 pass. 87 on the shooting, 32 on the defending, and 64 on the physical. When it comes to his in-game stats, guys, he does have some pretty decent stats, if I do say so myself. 92 on the composure, 94 on the attack position, and 86 vision, 88 on the reactions, as well as 88 on the short passing, 89 on the finishing, 86 ball control, as well as 86 on the long shots, guys. So a lot of his stats are in the mid to high uh, 80s and some of them are in the low 90s as well guys so that is very very nice to see for a legend that is for damn sure all right guys so man and an ultimate team i've got to go back throughout the years i mean every ultimate team that i've used him in i can always remember you know really enjoying this card i'm not going to lie to you guys for those of you that have seen many of my reviews you will know that i like taking long shots and every single time i've used litman and in ultimate team he has always had a rocket of a shot guys so that's one of the first things for me personally that comes to mind first when using a player like Lipmanen and that is no different this year guys he has still got one rocket of a shot as you will see in this video guys if you're looking for a legend with good long shots then guys Yari Lipmanen definitely ticks that box guys the goals in this video will demonstrate exactly what this boy can do from outside the boxes finishing inside the box as well was half decent for me but I gotta say guys it was as if Lipmanen's shooting was better the further away from goal he was which is a little bit weird to think about but that's just what he played like for me you know and it wasn't a problem at all because I like taking long shots on a regular basis I score them with pretty much anyone uh, that I do use so it's only natural for me to take long shots on a regular basis so I love that aspect of this card and if you are like me that will definitely not disappoint you with this card that is for damn sure some of the other things that I did like guys he's got good dribbling and ball control now I've said this multiple times in the past I really don't get some of the players dribbling stats in this game I mean for example Lipman and he's got 81 dribbling on the card I've used plenty of players in the past with a similar if not the same dribbling stats some of them have been absolutely fantastic and they have outperformed those stats you know amazingly and then there are other players in the game that just they just feel absolutely terrible on the ball you know I don't understand why certain players are better even though they've got the same stats it just blows my mind you know but thankfully Lipman and for me was one of the players that he, he was outperforming that stat for me you know his dribbling and ball control for me was absolutely fantastic now I did decide to use him in the engine chemistry style guys which boosts pace dribbling and passing obviously boosting him up from 82 pace to 89 pace 81 dribbling to 89 dribbling and 90 uh, 83 on the passing sorry guys to 90 passing but I've said it multiple times in the past as well guys I honestly don't feel that chemistry styles make a difference it says you know the chemistry style boosts him up from 81 dribbling to 89 dribbling he felt like 89 dribbling even with a basic chemistry style on him guys so regardless of the chemistry style that you do use with this card judging from what he was like for me guys you will not have a problem at all with this card's dribbling and ball control his pace was awesome for me as well guys guys 82 pace on the card but with the engine chemistry style obviously apparently boosts him up from 82 to 89 it didn't quite feel like 89 for me probably judging from what he was like for me guys I would estimate it to feel around about 84 maybe 85 pace so it's definitely a very very nice pace stat to have on a center attacking midfielder or a center midfielder if you want to play him in that position guys so personally I didn't have a problem with his pace so I don't think you guys will as well he's got a very very reliable week for as well guys now Lipman and himself does have three star skills and four star weak foot his weak foot for me was absolutely fantastic his finishing inside the box especially you know if you take long shots on a regular basis then it is inevitable that you will occasionally shoot with your you know your player's weak foot and that is what happened with the Lipman and for me from time to time um, and weak foot from outside the box it wasn't the worst in the world guys uh, but when he did do it on a regular basis for me it wasn't very consistent you know so it's not 
something that I would exactly recommend you try to do regularly with this card, but finishing inside the box, guys, was a completely different story, and he turned into a different player, guys, like I said, when it comes to inside the box. Very, very reliable. Finished pretty much every opportunity that I created. Now, I did use him for about 14 or 15 games, I think it was. He scored nearly 20 goals for me, which is awesome to see for a center attack in midfielder. I think he made about five or six assists for me, which is awesome as well. He probably could have made more, guys, if I did finish on more of the, you know, the opportunities that he did create for me. But unfortunately, you know, things like the keeper making stupid saves and stuff like that prevented that from happening for me, guys. But take it from me, from my experience, his passing was fantastic, you know? His positioning for me was pretty awesome as well, guys. He was the sort of attacking midfielder for me that was always making runs. He was always in the right place at the right time, whether it be to, you know, make a pass to create a fantastic opportunity, whether it be to take a fantastic long shot. He was always where I wanted him to be, guys. He's got high attacking work rate, medium defensive. And on top of that, guys, he's got a 94 attack position in stats. So you can guarantee this card will be in the right place at the right time on a regular basis. Really, guys, the only weaknesses that you need to worry about, you will get muscled off the ball pretty easily. Other than that, his aerial ability for me wasn't too great, guys. Other than those weaknesses, really nothing to worry about, guys. His pros really do outweigh the cons with this card. I gotta give him a final score of 9.5 out of 10. I thought he was absolutely ridiculous. I've got to say, Lipman in an ultimate team is definitely worth the coins, but that's just my opinion, guys. Let me know your opinions in the comment section down below. Drop a like if you did enjoy this video. All the support is greatly appreciated, guys. Subscribe today as well if you want to see more content to come soon. And as always, guys, most importantly, please take care, and I will see you all next time. Ta-da, guys.